We are at Glendora Country Club and we're holding a, an event on behalf of the American Warrior Initiative where realtors get some CE credit and a military specialist designation. And at the same time, we're honoring the local veteran uh, by presenting her with a service dog. Really today is about uh, giving something back to people who are in need. Do our veterans deserve the best real estate agents that they can get? Yes. Heck yeah, thank you. From a civilian standpoint, it may be a little intimidating. You're dealing with a veteran, a guy, a guy or a girl who's done things that you may not understand. And it could be intimidating, as, again, as a real estate professional, but you, you have to kind of flip it and realize that they may be a little timid too because this isn't their world, this is ours it's in the real estate side. Folks, there is a divide between our military and our civilians. Now, why is that? Less than 0.4 of the population, 0.4 of 1% are currently serving. 0.4 of 1%. If you look at what was serving in World War II, you think about that was one of the most patriotic times in America, 9% of Americans were serving in the military in World War II. <laughs> started uh, I was in 11th grade my brother was already in he's 15 months older than I was he knew the war was coming and when he was in boot camp uh, Pearl Harbor happened and uh, they took all the guys from boot camp put them on the steamer he went to, to uh, Pearl Harbor and uh, helped pick up the dead men I love serving veterans because my dad served in the South Pacific under General MacArthur so my dad was in the army and so, you know, uh, I know how much they did for us, and that was during wartime, and people don't realize, you know, they, they gave up, up their lives for us and, you know, took risk for us. I hope that they understand the commitment that military people make. Um, what Luis said that stuck with me was that when people sign up for the military, they sign a blank check, and they have no idea what the amount is of that check. It could be their life, and that hit me. Well, as it relates to today's event where they're actually directly giving back and they're going to see that happen, I, I can't imagine uh, folks that haven't have the opportunity to be around that, what they're going to feel when they see that today. But it's a big deal. It is a big deal and it's a great thing that they're doing. And we're going to hand the reins over because guess what? American Warrior Initiative is going to fully fund this dog for you today. <laughs> There's gonna be cost involved. So not only did John and his team raise the money, these realtors here bought shirts so that we could give a little, as we call it in Louisiana, a little land yap, a little something extra. And so we're going to give you a financial grant of $2,500. I'm just overwhelmed. It's like, because, you know, as a veteran, like you just, you don't feel like you deserve something like that. So it's, um, I'm grateful, like beyond grateful.